Welcome to the Chi Channel. I'm Sifu Carl Delavella. In this episode, I want to cover hand techniques. Um, hand techniques, there are several of them. And what's really important about hand techniques is your focus and your concentration. Now, if you're striking something and your hand isn't set right, you could injure yourself. You know, so I want to cover these basic steps on what you need to do. First of all, you need to clear the mind. You need to clear the mind, relax, and if you close your eyes and hold your fist out, it's called the mind's eye. You can still see your fist because your concentration is on your fist. In striking, you must control that. You must be able to focus on your fist or your chop, whatever technique you're using. You can't just punch uh, randomly at, at a bag. You can't just strike a bag you know, and hope for the best, or if you're defending yourself, you're going to be striking somebody, so you must focus on the spot that you're hitting, and you must focus your energy to your hand. Now, meditation is one way where you actually, you're looking inside your body. You close your eyes, uh, wiggle your toes. You, the mind's eye automatically goes to the foot. So, in, in practicing these, that full concentration, hey, you have to accomplish it. Now, I'm going to put up on the screen a book that I recommend. It's all about meditation. It's all about how to move chi through the body. Now, I recommend find the book, read it. It's a good book, and it'll teach you how to meditate. And there's many other books out there that you can do your own research on, but this is the one book that I, per I particularly like. Okay, so now let's, let's get started with this. Your fist. Okay, as soon as we zoom in on the fist, when you make a fist, if you roll your fingertips down to your pads of the palm, and then roll forward, and then you're going to tuck your thumb here. That's how you should make a fist. You're striking with these two knuckles. That's what you're striking with. And a lot of people don't concentrate on this. And if they start using it or punching a bag, all of a sudden their fist hurts. This is where you have to keep your mindset and your focus, is on, on a fist. The piece of equipment I like to use is this dummy. What I like about it, it almost represents um, a person. The, the weight of this is approximately 250 pounds, and it's filled with water. So, when you're striking this, there is a little give to it. So it's very inexpensive, and you can find this pretty much at any sporting goods store. Okay, let's get started on these punches. So one thing to, to look at when you're punching is proper body alignment. And you're not going to be punching just from the shoulder. You get your whole body ignited into the movement. Now, I'm going to hit this a few times, and I'm not going to put any real power behind it. And then maybe before the show is over, I'll show you what you do when you do add some power. Okay, I'm striking this bag. I'm looking at this individual. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a person. And same size as me. And I'm looking at the solar plexus. So my physical eye is focusing on this spot. My internal eye, my mind's eye, has to direct chi up the arm to deliver, this, to deliver the blow to the solar plexus. And in doing so, you'll get, you'll get great results. So you don't just hit from your shoulder. You use your body. You control this chi energy that comes up. It compresses to your stomach, so you're getting yin and yang. Your stomach's nice and taut, and you're bringing the chi up to the shoulder, or you can bring it up your spine when you go into the movement. So, my stomach controls the movement, my mind is controlling the chi, and I'm focusing on the spot. 
and that's how you do it. The other uh, key to this is, unlike some of the other arts, where it's all outer force hitting, she can't flow through that. If you wanted to push something, you wouldn't come up to it like this and then push on it. You'd lay your hands on it and then you apply your energy. Same way in punching. You want to be free to the target. And the moment of impact is when you put the coals to it. So that's your, that's your just straight punch. Just come in, look at your target. My mind's eye is controlling my chi, so I don't have to necessarily stare at my fist because my mind's eye is doing it and I'm striking. Okay, that's just a regular punch. Okay, so that's the straight punch. Another hand technique is knife hand. And what you want to make sure you do is keep your fingers close. You know, don't, I've seen a lot of people do it this way. You want need to focus on the fat of your hand here. And sometimes you're going to hit with these fingers. It's going to drive them in. And it's a rolling effect. You roll it in to strike. And again, this is the part you want to control. So looking at your target, again, my physical mind's on my spot where I'm going to hit. And let's say it's right here. It's right on this collarbone. And my internal mind knows where it's going to place that chi energy to the palm. So when you're coming up to strike, the whole body is moving into the strike. Tuck your thumb. Don't have your thumb hanging out there. So the strike would be from here. I'm pulling my energy. I'm compressing. And I'm coming up like that. Okay, another one is a tiger. The tiger strike there's several ways to do the tiger strike. I'm striking with the palm. It's actually, if you want to call it a palm strike. My fingers are curled. If your fingers are strong, you can, you can actually strike with the fingers. On the eye techniques, I strike with two fingers to the eyes. And you roll into it. So the tiger strike, going back to that, same principle. Pick your spot. And if you have to use this stuff, it's, it's all going to come naturally if you practice it. So again, here's my target. I want to I want to strike him in the solar plex again. So I'm not going to come straight in this way, even though you can do that. It puts a lot of strain on your wrist because if you try hitting lower, you got a shot of breaking your own wrist. So I'm going to strike here I'm going to go slow. I'm going to come up, up, force up, and strike here. And doing so, you're, you're definitely hitting with the palm. Now, if you do tiger, tiger, it's just come straight in. Your fingers have to be strong for this. And some of the other episodes will probably get into what they call iron palm training. Uh, it's the use of a uh, an ointment called uh, Ditao Jiao, and there's several recipes, some for bruises, some for strengthening bones. I make my own, but in another episode, we'll go through how do you toughen your hands up. But the tiger, I come straight in, and I'm hitting with my fingers, thumb. The fingers go in first, then the heel comes in. Okay, looking at it, uh, eyes. The eye strikes, they're generally just straight in. But it's almost like throwing a ball. Your hand moves up in, into the eyes. So your fingers, I use two fingers, and these fingers have to be strong to do this. And you go straight on in to the eyes. So those techniques, if you practice them every day, but you need something. You need something strong enough that will give you the, the feeling that you're actually hitting an aggressor. 
And this is perfect for that. I also have a hard bag, um, which is filled with sand. That's really hard. This one allows you to put a lot of, a lot of power behind it and it's not going to fall over. What I'm going to do now, I want to show you some power. And this should stay. I did fill it back up with water, so it's close to 260 pounds, 65 pounds or so. Okay, what I want to do is I want to strike this bag, as always a person, and I'm going to nail them in the chest bone up here. My intentions is to direct the energy. I want him to just about fall over. Okay, so we've got our 200 and whatever it is, 65 pound guy. I'm going to come back. So from here, let's say I'm blocking a movement. So I'm blocking a movement and you strike. Okay, we'll do that again with some power. Okay, looking at a person weighing 260 pounds, they're not going to be as bottom heavy as this is. So they'll be able to fall back pretty far. Okay, so, but putting the power to it, concentrating on your chi. What you want to accomplish, you want to, you want to strike hard enough that, you know, it's going to end the fight. So he's coming in to attack and you can see it coming. Oops. That shouldn't have happened. Now I got to pick this thing up. Ah, darn, this thing's heavy. Uh oh, it's gonna break. Guess I can't hit it that hard. But all I really did, I put my power from my mind to the hand, struck. And over she went. So don't, if you get one of these and you fill it full of water, don't hit it that hard. Because now, we have a leak. That concludes today's episode on hand techniques. And go back and watch this several times because you'll pick up something different every time you look at it. You'll, you'll notice something that you might be able to use. But before we go, I would like to say this. The Chi Channel is always looking for some talented people, people that have done some videos in high quality. Rather, basically, if they're an instructional video is what we really want. And it could be yoga, it could be Tai Chi, it could be dance, it could be any of the arts, cooking. Um, I'll tell you what, the best thing to do is go to the Chi Channel. That's the Chi Channel TV. You can even just type in the Chi Channel and it should bring you to us. Look at the categories of shows that we have listed. And if you have anything that we could use that you would like to have us feature, by all means, send us a note. But if you're in the Phoenix area and we can personally meet with you and look at some of your films and see which ones we might be able to use or film with us, good point, let us know. But for now, hope to see you again. I'm Sifu Carl Della Vella. You're watching the Chi Channel. And thank you so much.